want to convey to you the story of media personality, British media personality, Ben Douglas. Ben Douglas is famous in the UK. He was adopted by two white parents, raised and, you know, went to all the frou-frou schools and what have you. Anyway, so the story goes that he was at a party, a classy, ritzy party. He steps out after uh, a speech or whatever somebody was giving. He steps out on the balcony to get fresh air, and a man turns to his escort, escort in the sense of a woman who is acquainted with you, who goes to a party with you. Not your date, not your girlfriend. It is a polite society type of deal, right? Uh, Today, escort is used in a very completely different way. There's no escorting going on. Anyway, the man turned to his escort and says, are you with him? And she nods and he says, oh, you're a N-word, B-word. B word as in female dog. And Ben Douglas says, what did you say? And he says, that's right. I said, nigger. And everybody around them froze. All the white people. So it's Ben Douglas with a whole bunch of white people, right? And supposedly they're all like industry movers and shakers, fashion movers, movers and shakers. And this guy who's talking is a friend, a dear friend of Kate Moss. So let's just really put things into perspective here. So they all froze and the guy continued. Yeah, I said, nigger, you're a nigger. You're a nigger enunciating it. I know plenty of niggers. And he went on and on. And Ben Douglas said, well, that's insulting. You can't say that to me. That's insulting. (laughs) I'm sorry, the the way I read the story, I don't see Ben Douglas saying, hey, that's insulting, you better not say that, you know, I don't see him doing, I don't, that is not how the story was conveyed to me. The story was conveyed to me that Ben Douglas was like, that's insulting. Anyway, let's go to my story of the same exact thing. And instead of uh, me acting like Ben Douglas and being all uh, meek, humble, mild, and and, and uh, silent about uh, the thing. I was at law school, at a law school gathering. There was about 200 law school students around me. So this person, a girl, of course is a girl, right? Insulted me and, and said I was uh, a cheap bastard and I was this and that and the other. And then... Hold your horses. The KKK students, yes, the KKK students. I went to law school with KKK students. Oh, and they weren't shy about it. They're not like the liberals of today. They're not the liberals of the the West Coast or the East Coast. Oh, all those poor black people. We just really feel for them. They can't help themselves. No, they weren't. They're not like that. They were like, KKK, we hate niggers, right? So then the KKK uh, students stepped up and then I looked around at all these silent people, just like the, the people at the party and the Ben Douglas story, all the silent people, all the people were silent. So I raised my voice and I said, so you all are going to let this go on here, right? So you're, you're all just going to sit there quiet. You are quietly agreeing with you because if you don't stand up and speak and say anything you are giving support to this kind of action so then the kkk guys there's about seven of them wanted to clearly beat me up and got into my face i said oh you don't want to do that you are stepping into my bubble of air you know in law school of course we know about Ports and, and batteries and, and, and what's assault and all that sort of stuff, right? We've, we, we've got criminal law. We've got all this, everything, right? We know the deal. And I said, you're stepping into my bubble, which is an assault. If you do not back up, I will defend myself and you don't want me to defend them. At that time, I 
I was still in my uh, martial arts school. And I don't mean martial, I don't mean karate. I don't mean uh, taekwondo. I mean, I studied jujitsu, and I don't mean jujitsu that you see on the MMA. I studied Okinawan jujitsu, the real stuff that you break the person's leg by the time they hit the ground, that you're slamming them into head first. So I would have decimated the guys, and they all backed off, and I walked out. That's probably why I'm not a lawyer today, because I went to that southern school with all the kkk members oh i i had kkk members invite me to watch kkk movies oh and i sat there and i watched the kkk uh, movies and then they said you see it's not that we're racist we just have white pride this this is <laughs> this is the type of this is what i had to deal with in law school that's why i'm not a lawyer that's you know i went to that school not that i let it get to me it's just that it was just a horrible situation, just awful, just horrible. If there, there's a famous quote, there's a famous quote, I can't find it right now, that goes along the line of what I said. It says, all it takes is for good men to be silent, for you know evil to prosper. And that's the point of this video, really. I'm not trying to really insult Ben Douglas or call him a, call him a pussy or anything, but you know what I mean. But uh, the people that stood there in silence at this quote unquote classy party and the and, and the man was not thrown out of the party. So there you have it. Has anything like that happened to you or, or what would you do in that situation? Would you have spoken up? Uh, one of my Facebook friends said that he would have throat punched the guy, <laughs> broken his box and then laughed. When he brought him to court, thank you for watching the Chicago Live Show.